Welcome to my house, built by Pablo Escobar for his associates. There's only two buildings in my compound. Each has four units with uh, two stories each. So this is a special elevator and it only opens, goes to my floor. So I have a special key, high security, because remember who built it. So if I don't want you to come in, I can lock anyone out. And then of course we have the elevator door. And then we have a super strong, almost like jail-like door. This is solid metal. You can also lock and no one else can open it. Again, high security. And uh, this is uh, the entrance foyer over here. And uh, I've got some great views over there. I don't know if you can see them of Medellin or high up on the mountain. This is 12,000 square feet, six bedrooms, and about six baths. Pool, sauna, and jacuzzi. Somebody asked uh, to check out the house. Uh, I need to fix up a little more. Uh, this is my office, which I need to fill out with it. Uh, here is a living room with a TV. And again, someone the other day told me kind of needs a woman's touch, which I agree. So uh, come on over here and we'll check out uh, the dining room. Have some dinner parties here. And this is one of the best parts. We have a pool. Pablo put a pool in every apartment. So each one has two floors, and each one has its own pool. And it's heated, and you got a beautiful view of Medellin. Kids love it. Uh, we have a little garden over there. We actually grow peppers and stuff. And uh, here's the living room. And then here's the kitchen. And uh, check this out. So before we get in the kitchen, we have a little bar area here. Oh, let's go back here. A little bar for entertaining. And of course, every house needs a steam room and a jacuzzi. And check out the details. I mean, the construction, the marble, the wood. Uh, here's a, a, a shower for the pool. This marble we can't even find anymore. Each slab weighs like, you know, 100 pounds. And think about it in the 80s whenever Pablo built it. They probably went to the best contractor and architect and said, listen, money's no object and you better do a good job because if not, <laughs> your whole family. So I'm sure they were on top and on budget. Here's the kitchen. And a lot of people in Columbia have uh, live and make cook for about two, three hundred dollars a month, three fifty. You get a really nice live and make cook. Now mine doesn't live here, but she saves and helps take care of guests and does the laundry, cooks, clean shop. She's amazing. I don't know where she is right now. She's working, <laughs> but uh, she's in the kitchen. It's so nice. Uh, I take good care of her course and her bonuses. She's amazing. But um, it's so nice when someone cooks, clean shops. I have friends in Columbia. You know, if you live well, um, you live well here. Do I have a maid for each child? Um, here is the maid's quarters. Now, a little bit more security. She has this door. These doors are like bank doors. And this unit is on the third floor. This is a solid door. It uh, weighs like 500 pounds and it has special locks. And then I can lock this so anyone who has a key cannot get in. Think of all the security. The number of my apartment is 602, which makes no sense, but that's for security reasons. Have you see, seen one of these in a while? This is a dumb waiter. Um, that's what I used to be, a dumb waiter. You can send food from the kitchen upstairs without having to walk up the stairs. Here is Lucy. She takes care of everything. Hi, Lucy. Como esta? Todo bien? Bien, bien. And there's two maids quarters here, uh, because just in case you need two maids. So, um, this is the back secret stairs. But we'll go up the main stairs. So there's a heliport in the back in case you have to make an entrance or exit. Oh, let's go this way. Sometimes I get lost in here. I'm not kidding. It's pretty big. And a uh, nice bathroom. And let's look at the main entrance of the upstairs bedrooms. So in the back, there's a heliport. So you can find a helicopter here in case you got to get out quickly. And again, I don't know if you can see these views or not. They're pretty darn nice. We'll go upstairs. And again, I need a few more pictures and stuff. Here's one of my favorites, though. Thumbs up. Positive. So, come on over here. And it's fun when I have a party downstairs. People were dancing by the pool, hanging out. And you kind of come up here and hold court. Or if you want to make a speech to your adoring fans down there. <laughs> so, it's kind of fun to have a party. And uh, here is the master bedroom. This is where I kind of said, oh, it's a little messy. Lucy cleaned up. And I messed it up. So, again, we have some beautiful views of Medellin. Check this out. Love these views. Okay, now, here's one of the best parts of the house. The bathroom. So, excuse my mess. 
First of all, and there you have a movie screen. Here's a refrigerator, so you don't have to go downstairs if you need something to drink. And check these closets that he built. Um, there's two of them. This is a walk-in closet. And it has locks everywhere, so you can lock the door, lock things in, high security. And check this marble out, there's a bidet. Here's another walk-in closet, his and hers, I don't use. And then, of course, you have this beautiful marble shower, marble jacuzzi. Um, spare no expense. By the way, I had to take a lot of statues out, like Roman nude statues, because no problem like that. But you see there's a movie screen coming out up there. You know, that was the 80s. Watch a movie. And then there are a bunch of bedrooms over here. We have a hidden secret closet over here that you can hide things in. Um, more bathrooms. And there's more bedrooms. We call this one the Marilyn Monroe room. Why? Because there's pictures of Marilyn Monroe. And every bedroom has its own kind of jacuzzi, shower, bath, with all marble. Again, walk-in closet. So it's great for guests and entertaining. And uh, there you go. So there's a bunch of other big bedrooms here, a whole bunch of them. I don't want to show you all because they're kind of boring, but definitely need a woman's touch. You can hang some pictures up. But every bathroom has marble. And again, these uh, jacuzzis and walk-in closets. Check this out over here. Another walk-in closet. Yeah. So this is my house. And, uh, you know, I'm here alone a lot, which is when I first moved in, it was kind of weird because I would stay upstairs, it's so big, and I would rarely go downstairs. And uh, it's great to have company and friends over, and I'm going to be doing some seminars here and some retreats. Um, so that's kind of a quick tour of my house. And uh, these actual doors are amazing. They each weigh like two, three, four hundred pounds with special locks, and it's very safe. We have two guards up front. So hopefully you'll come visit one day. This is Robert Shemin, uh, Medellin, Colombia. It's called Bosques de la Volcana, the Volcano Forest House. And there's only two buildings. Each one has four apartments, that's eight units. And we got a whole bunch of land here, pool, tennis courts, helicopter port, everything you need, and some beautiful views. I love it. So thanks for visiting and hope to see you here in person soon. Gotta go.